Hey friends, look what just came home with us from Costco. This is the Nespresso Virtuo Next. It is the latest machine in their line of coffee makers. We are going to do an unboxing. We're gonna do a quick setup, show you all that comes inside. We're gonna brew ourselves a cup of coffee and see if this is worth the hype. Let's get into it. So welcome to the channel, friends. This is Scott's Garage. We're obviously not in the garage today because we occasionally do these product reviews, checking things out. And hey, if you're taking a break from all the DIY projects to do some coffee, that is not a bad thing. So if you like DIY projects, if you like coffee machines, you like product reviews, hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get into this product review though. So obviously we picked this up from Costco, decent price, especially for an espresso machine. I believe we paid right around $170. Now that is pretty expensive for a coffee maker, but when you compare it to things like a new Keurig, it really isn't a ton of extra money. Now, what comes with this specific machine? Well, as you can see inside the box, we're gonna have 42 of our little coffee pods. We also get a $35 off coupon for an espresso website. We've got a scaling kit, and we also have two capsules for the recycling bags where you can return these and get those pods recycled so they don't go into a landfill. Okay, let's go ahead and dig into this box. What we are going to find now is our quick start guide over in this box. We've got our descaling kit that we can keep uh, handy for future descaling, you know, basically cleaning out your coffee maker and making sure everything's flowing perfectly. And then we have all of our coffee pods here, which we'll check out in just a minute. We also have this secondary box here, and this is gonna be for the main coffee maker here. You can see that it actually does multiple sizes. This was important for us. We didn't want just a tiny espresso. We actually wanted a machine that could make carafe size, smaller mug size, and then obviously the smaller espresso options as well. Okay, looking at the back of the bigger box here, we can again see the different size of pods that are available. By the way, this machine is made by DeLonghi, I believe is how you say that. So again, this is DeLonghi machine with the Nespresso pods for the coffee style that basically Nespresso is known for. So again, we have four different sizes. These are all the desired sizes that you have available. Again, you can see tiny espresso all the way up to the carafe size. Now, something else just to mention really quick, we do like that this machine is made with 40% recycled plastic and all of the packaging you can see is 95% recycled and obviously 99% recyclable, meaning we can put it right into our recycling bin, which we really, really do like. Okay, so inside of that box, we're gonna find a few more things. We're gonna find our, not just the quick start guide over here, but this is the full instruction manual. We've got a safety first instruction guide, and we also have a warranty information. And then check this out. We have a whole selection of our pods for Nespresso machines. Let me just pull off this little sleeve. We can see all the good stuff. They really do a good job with their packaging, making this look super fun, like we're on an Easter egg hunt. So again, multiple sizes here from the small little guys, which are gonna be your espresso, all the way up to the coffee uh, versions, which are a little bit larger, these ones down here. Okay, inside the main box, you can see things are packaged up really well. We've got our drip sleeve here. I believe we'll take that out. Okay, if you take that top packaging off, we're gonna see the main machine in here. We're also gonna see this little black box here. This is a separate little piece that comes again with this Costco packet. This is a milk frother, the Aerochino 3. This helps you make those cappuccinos, those lattes, those kind of things. So we can kind of get into that here in a little bit, but that's a nice little added feature that comes with this specific machine. Okay, so here's the machine straight out of the box. What's really nice is there's no setup needed. Basically, we're gonna take this, we're gonna slide it into our coffee slot on our counter here. We're gonna take our plug, plug it into the outlet, and basically we're ready to go. So a couple of things we do need to do, we need to do a rinse on this whole system just to make sure we push some water through, get it a little bit more cleaned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to wash out this back reservoir. We can do that simply by pulling it off. I'll give this a quick rinse and a quick wash. Then we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna actually be pushing our button here three times to flush water through. So I'll do that once for you on camera. Okay, as you can see, we have our reservoir filled up with water. And so basically we're just gonna stick that right on the back, back down into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the machine in. You can see we just pop it right into the plug and now we are ready to go. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab our little reservoir overflow little stand here for our mug. It's gonna put this little grate on top. And then basically we're gonna choose where we want this to sit in the front. You can see there's a couple of slots that are right here on the machine. And that is just going to grab those little peg there that's right on the end of this reservoir. And it's just gonna utilize it as a stand. You can see you can kind of move it up and down just a touch if need be. What we can do now is set a mug underneath there. And that's gonna create a nice flow for our spout. Now, what we need to do again is run some water through here three times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna push this just once. It's going to light up. Okay, once our button is in the stable position, not blinking anymore, basically we're gonna hit this three times and that's gonna indicate we want this to just flush through and clean out the system. So let's hit that three times. You can hear the machine working there working its way through. There is our flow of water. You can see we also got, again, that heating indicator. So there we go. We're gonna let that do its rinse job and then we'll try an actual cup of coffee. Okay, our rinse is complete. You will need a mug roughly this size. There's a lot of water that comes through here. You can see how much of the reservoir was drained. So basically just sit back. It does take a few minutes for this to properly purge. All right, we're ready to make our first cup of coffee. So let's go ahead and open this up and then we'll go ahead and select the pod that we'd like to use. Okay, so again, here are some options that came in our box. Again, we had three of these long sleeves to choose from. I went ahead and got the Columbia style because you can see on here, the various levels of darkness. Again, this is a medium kind of cup of coffee here. We also, again, could do the espresso, which is going to make a 1.35 fluid ounce. You got the double espresso, which is double that. We've got a gran, which is about five fluid ounces. And then again, the regular coffee, which is going to make roughly eight fluid ounces. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys. This is the Columbia. Let's go ahead and put it right here. You're gonna have this side is gonna face up right there in the cup. We're gonna go ahead and close this and then move this to the lock position, just like that. And then basically, now that I don't need a huge mug, I'm going a little bit uh, smaller. If necessary, if you want, you can pull this out, we can move it up a slot, and that is just gonna make things a little tighter so we're not dripping all over the place potentially. So you can see that mug fits nice and easy right there in the slot. And we're ready to brew. So I'm just gonna come over here, push this once, and you can hear the machine starting up. Okay, our brew is complete. And again, this made that eight ounces. A lot of people like a little bit more than that. Usually we do about 10 ounces in the morning, like on our Keurig. So we'll have to see if this is gonna be enough. You can see there's a lot of extra foam, or they call this the crema. And what they really suggest doing is taking a spoon and you kind of fold it into the coffee, just like this. And that again is supposed to enhance the, uh, the flavor of that coffee. But again, this is what Nespresso is known for is that really delicious kind of foam crema that's on top. So there you go. That is how you set up your Nespresso Virtuo machine, brand new again from Costco is roughly 170 bucks or so. That's how you're gonna make your first cup of coffee after you clean it. We really hope this has helped. Hit that thumbs up button if it has. Stay tuned, we're doing a ton more product reviews, things like this. We also have a ton of DIY stuff on our channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and we'll see you again on the next one.